do, flight crew, FTC, flight team stand up, all flight no fear, August is here. We have places you should never swim. Now, the last reaction when I did something similar to a pool or water or anything with swimming was the water slides, and a lot of you guys enjoyed that. With summer, literally with like one more month of it left, bro, you know what I'm saying? And really, you know, what, fall, you can still be in the pool or swim, you know what I'm saying, and things like that, too. You should always remember that there are places still to this day you should never swim. Now, I told you guys, if I wasn't in this entertainment field, I told you guys, if I was not, I would be a substitute teacher, bro. Now, out of my respect, if you have any electronics, apples, iPhones, iTouches, iNanos, Androids, anything, iPad, everything, you know, anything electronic, Game Boys, and the administrator watched them. Hide them and don't make me look bad. Cover my ass, you know what I'm saying? Let's check it out. You can probably think Some of educational lists. that are great for swimming. Pools, no quiz today. Fish, even comically small inflatable. If I catch you sleeping, if I catch you sleeping, I'm assigning you a homework assignment that's due tomorrow. Pools. But in this video, I'm going to tell you about 20 places where you should absolutely, under no circumstances, ever swim. Why? Because I'm trying to keep you safe. Also, they're super weird and interesting. Oh, yeah. Number 20, Lake Karache. Lake Karache, a lake in the southern Ural Mountains in central Russia, has been called the most polluted place on Earth. During really? the 50s, when the Soviet Union didn't really care that much about being super safe with how they dealt with their nuclear waste, some of it was just dumped into this lake. Some parts of the lake are so radiated that they would kill you in an hour if you stuck around. Really? The Russian government has begun filling up the lake with concrete, so if you still want to go swim there, Ew. even after hearing this, you better get there while you still have the chance. Number 19, the Ganges River. If you ever find yourself in India looking for a place to swim, you better avoid the Ganges River. The Ganges has become so polluted due to India's rapid industrialization Ugh. that over 600 kilometers of it, equivalent to 372 miles, are ecological dead zones where life cannot sustain itself. Really? Try and not let that life oh. be you. Human and industrial waste is pumped into the river at a disturbing rate. Oh, in sad. places, the river has over 70 times the safe limit of toxic chemicals and 3,000 times the safe amount of fecal coliform. Ew. The Ganges is not only home to a ton of industrial pollution, but is also the final resting place for about 40,000 cremated bodies every oh year. My so you'd essentially be swimming in a sort of sludge made partially out of dead people. Oh my gosh. Overall, research confirms this causes a great... Sad, rate. man. It's like you always gotta be grateful for everything, you know what I'm saying? every day bro like real shit like if you ever find yourself complaining or something's going on remember like there's people like right now out here bro like this is their way of you know being able to take a shower or, like you know what i'm saying like other type of things man and they have no choice about that like they were born into it you know so just be careful you know what i'm saying every uh, everybody always make sure you're being grateful you know what i'm saying never down anybody for anything Actually, out of Sad, dead people. Bro. Overall, research confirms this causes a greater rate of cancer and gastrointestinal disease among people living by the river. Wow. And worst of all, since the river is religiously sacred, people disregard the warnings, believing that swimming in it cleanses themselves of past sins. Number 18, the boiling. I like that though, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is how you can tell, like, you know, this is people being grateful, you know what I'm saying? They're making, they're taking advantage of, a, a, you know what I'm saying, a situation. You know what I'm saying? That's presented to them. You know what I'm saying? It's not their fault. You know what I'm saying? It just it just happened. Everything was just like this. But they're making the most of it. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta get my traveling days up, man. This kinda look like a lit ass place, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'll go vibe with them, man. Just make sure y'all got a basketball court up in this thing. You know what I'm saying? But look, bro, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about like they think it it, it heals like people's sins and everything like that. Like the fact that they think, you know what I'm saying? And they make a situation that's bad and turn it to something positive. Bro, sometimes that's all it is in life, bro. Themselves of past sins. kind of dope. Number 18, the Boiling Lake. The Boiling Lake in Dominica is probably what you think it is based off the name. A lake that is straight up boiling all the time. This is because underneath the water is red hot magma. I was just about to say that. And you know why, too? It's closer to the Earth's equator. Boiling Lake. The boiling lake in Dominic. It's you see the Earth's equator right here. This is how, another thing to tell you guys that the Earth is not flat and it's round. You know what I'm saying? 
the Earth's equator right here is the center, and it basically what he just explained, he's going to explain to you most likely, is that the Earth has magma. Now, look, you know what I'm saying? You got to take me seriously because, look, outside of my favorite subject of uh, gym being my favorite class and subject or, um, and anything, you know what I'm saying? Um, science was actually my second, you know what I'm saying? I always averaged a C in science, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, it's just interesting. I feel like science is actually something that they're supposed to be teaching you in school. You need to know like what certain chemicals not to mix together, what certain shit not to touch, what certain ground parts you not you should not be around, or you know that there's an outer space outside of the earth. You should be knowing that type of stuff. Like that's I, I always feel like it was interesting and useful. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always you know paid attention. Or even things with like dinosaurs and, and things like that. Land before time and Barney was my shit. You know what I'm saying? Because but look, probably what it's close to the Earth's equator. The name. That's why it's probably boiling hot. Boiling all the time. This is because underneath the water is red hot magma. Another thing which, like boiling water, does not sound like it would be fun to touch. Nope. While the lake actually looks kind of appealing, like it would just be a nice hot spring. Nope. In reality, the water is roughly 90 degrees Celsius. What's that? Or 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Damn. Number 17, Jacob's Well. Jacob's Well, well in Texas, unlike Texas? Boiling Lake. Sounds like it would be a pretty nice place to swim, actually. And for the most Facts. part, it is. The spot is known for its crystal clear water, allowing you to look straight down and see way further than you would in any other lake. Oh, that looks... The dangerous part has to do with the spring series of underwater caves and tunnels that lay underneath. Inexperienced divers who don't fully understand the risk and specialty equipment needed for cave diving in places like this have underestimated the challenge of Jacob's Well at their own peril, and there have been eight deaths at the site. Oh my Number gosh. 16, the Nile River. The Nile River is dangerous. Really? Even though in the Prince of Egypt everyone is just chilling in there and leaving babies around? Yes, in reality the Nile is full of Nile crocodiles. Oh! They use the clouded water to hide what? their prey. I thought alligators only exist in Florida. Every year, hundreds of people are attacked by Nile crocodiles in sub-Saharan. Wait, no, this is a crocodile, so that's, yeah, they're different. Africa. For reference, there are only 16 shark attacks a year in the United States. So to avoid ending up like a wildebeest on the Discovery Channel, you should probably just stay on land. Number 15. Hanakapiai Beach. Hanakapiai Beach in Hawaii is absolutely not where you want to go on your vacation. Really? It may look like any other pristine Hawaiian beach where you can go surfing and wear a grass skirt and whatever, but this is a trap. Underneath, there are very strong riptides that have led to 80 confirmed deaths. Dang. The beach is so dangerous that there's even a sign with a death toll marked on it to scare potential swimmers away. Number 14, Bubbly Creek. Bubbly Creek sounds like a pretty nice place. It reminds me of something that would be in the Lord of the Rings, but in the Shire, not Mordor. In reality, Bubbly Creek is the worst part of the Chicago River. The nearby Union Stockyard dumped blood, manure, urine, and various body parts into the river for over a hundred years. The bubbles are a result of the decomposing meat, since the river's other population has made sure that there's little life in the river to decompose things. One study found that the layer of animal remains at the bottom of the creek is three feet thick. Number 13, Samezin Hole. The Samezin Hole has been described as a black, silty hole of death. It is the deepest diving site in the Gulf of Thailand, with a depth of 280 feet. If you really want to dive into this black, silty hole of death, you're going to have to deal with strong currents, oil tankers passing through, poor visibility, and barracuda. The US Navy also used to use the site as an ammunition dump, so there's always the possibility of bumping into the wrong thing and just blowing yourself up. Oh! Number 12. Eagle's Nest Sinkhole. Eagle's Nest Sinkhole. If you sinkhole. were to stand next to Eagle's Nest Sinkhole in Florida, you would probably think that it was just a pond. However, Where is if you were at? to actually dive down, you would see the shaft that leads to underwater passages and rooms bigger than football fields. What the, the fuck? The deepest point is 310 feet below the surface. In 1999, Whoa. it was actually closed due to 10 deaths. It reopened in 2003 because some people just cannot stop themselves from diving into underwater caves. The caves are home to this now infamous and genuinely spooky sign. Number 11. The fuck? They had a Grim Reaper bed? While I would like this to be able to warn you about falls in Hawaii, it is actually not known what they are. Several people have drowned there, but nobody actually knows why. Witnesses reported people swimming perfectly normally and then suddenly panicking and going under. Their bodies weren't seen until they were pulled up from the bottom, dead. Oh my some gosh. have blamed the mystic water spirit, Mou. Others speculate that there's just a whirlpool of some kind. Number 10, wow. the Amazon Basin. There oh, are man. so many reasons you shouldn't go swimming in the Amazon Basin. 
You've got anacondas, which can stay underwater for 10 minutes. Wait, anac- got- Yeah, I am about to say, like, they, they can swim now in this bed? And red belly piranhas, which can tear you to Bro, shreds. piranhas are electric- deadly. Oh my gosh, bro. You do not want to fuck with piranhas, bro. I remember seeing this one cartoon, bro. I forgot what damn, what it was, bro. Bro, he got his fucking, bro, belly fucked up by piranhas. Tear you to shreds. You've got electric eels, which can shock Electric you eels are volts, real? For reference. Electric eels? Bro, imagine going out by an electric eel, bro. I thought that shit was... You with 600 volts, which, for reference, is five times stronger than what you would get from the standard U.S. wall socket. While you've probably heard of those things, you may not have heard of Kandaru, which are tiny fish that swim up your urinal tube. What more? Ooh, no way! Oh, I know what that means! Oh, shit! <coughs> bro, do you know what a urinal tube is? That's the fucking pee pee hole, bro! It go. Oh! Oh! Fam! Oh, that made that made me hurt, bro. Oh. You need to never set foot in this water, people. Oh. Lake Victoria. Damn, lake Victoria. bro. Now, now, looks like what you would expect a lake to look like, but this is one of the most dangerous bodies of water on the planet, with an average of five thousand deaths every year. Oh, I still cringe at that. That cringes me. If you a guy, you can feel me, bro. Like, damn, bro, a fish. Damn, bro. That gotta be a horny ass fish to be fucked, man. Lake Victoria is so deadly because it has its own mini climate, which causes the weather to change from pleasant to severe in a very short amount of time. Local people have few options other than to try to make a living fishing on the lake, and the unpredictable weather often capsizes boats, leaving them with miles of storm between themselves and the shore. Number 8. Horseshoe Lake. It's not the water itself in Horseshoe Lake, California that makes it so dangerous. But you'd be able California? to tell you something was up way before you ever get to the shore because you'd notice that the lake is surrounded by a hundred acres of dead trees. A series of earthquakes in 1989 and 1990 caused dangerous levels of carbon monoxide to escape from the Earth's surface and into the air. The area is actually, for the most part, safe. However, the levels of gas can fluctuate without warning, and there have been several asphyxiation fatalities. What? Number seven. Rio Tinto. Rio Tinto in Spain at least looks as dangerous as it actually is. The water is blood red due to 5,000 years of mining pollution. So hopefully you'll be scared off before you even dip your toe in it. The river is Who extremely would dip acidic, and in fact it's Ew. such a strange environment that scientists study it because it is thought to be similar to the conditions on Jupiter's moon Europa. Mm. Number six, Gansby. Gansby, South Africa didn't get the nickname Shark Alley for nothing. Obviously, you should not be swimming anywhere that is called Shark Alley, unless you are a crazy person. They have so the many fuck? sharks there, in fact, that it's become a tourist destination for the only semi-crazy activity of cage diving with the sharks. If you're looking for sharks, clearly this is the place to be. While the United States only has 0.2 shark attacks per every million people, South Africa has 0.15 per every million. Damn. Number 5. Hoover Dam You definitely shouldn't go swimming in any dams. To begin with, swimming at places like the Hoover Dam is actually a jailable offense. So your swim could end in you getting arrested. But the more serious reason is that there are super strong currents because it isn't a normal body of water. It's a body of water that people made to make electricity. Does that sound like a safe place to swim to you? I knew, Just a few bro, I knew humans be controlling like shit like that, bro. Come on, yo. I should have been known it since the dam was made to level out the actual ocean of the damn world my nigga so you mean to tell me they they literally are control they literally bro i don't care what nobody says bro if they can do that they can control when it rains and all of that shit bro like well, real talk they can control when it water. rains when everything well, weather damn near electricity happens. does that sound like a safe place to god has you? to be most Just of the time man made ago, bro a welsh tourist aaron hughes was arrested for swimming across the hoover dam Authorities said he was the only person they knew of that survived such a swim, as others have been sucked into intakes. But there's other things you can get sucked into as well, like bellmouth spillways. Oh. Don't those just look like a fun ride? What the hell? Number four, Sitaram River. The Sitaram River in Indonesia is one of, if not the most polluted river in the world. Yeah. This is largely because five oh. million people happen to live in its basin, 
and people tend to produce waste. Imagine what would happen to a river that ran through your room that you've been avoiding cleaning for the past year, for instance. Nearby textile sad, factories man. also so consider sad. the river to be a great place to dump large quantities of toxic waste, leading the river to become filled with lead, mercury, arsenic, and other toxins. Ugh. Number three, Blue Lagoon. Blue, the Blue Lagoon, Lagoon that sounds like a <laughs> There's a pH level of 11.3, which probably doesn't mean anything to you unless you're a chemist. Well, the fact that bleach has a pH level of 12.6 should be a big warning sign. On top of being a body of water that's closer to being bleached than it is being something that would come out of a tap, it has an idyllic blue color from caustic chemicals in the surrounding stones. Despite signs warning people of the danger, people could not help themselves from taking a dip in its beautiful waters. It got so bad it had to be dyed black to try to discourage people from swimming in it. Yeah. If you think about it, that's actually a pretty great idea that a lot of other places on this list could take a note from. Yeah. The lagoon is also home to abandoned cars, dead animals, and human waste. So yeah, dyeing it black was a good decision. Number two, Reunion Island. Reunion, Reunion Island. Reunion Island. French territory in the Indian Ocean, famed for its surfing, has recently become the shark attack capital of the world. Remember back when I said that South Africa had lots of shark attacks because it had 0.15 attacks per million people? Well, Reunion Island has 8.28 attacks per million people. The island has seen a record number of 39 attacks, 19 of which were fatal. While no one exactly knows why the island has become such a hotspot for sharks, it has been speculated that it was due to the creation of a marine reef that attracted more fish, resulting in more food for the sharks. Before I reveal the most outrageous example in this list, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to Be Amazed. We upload amazing fact-filled videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, hit that bell icon for notifications on more amazing fact-filled videos. Number 1. The Strid the Strid in Yorkshire may just be the most picturesque place on this list, and the least threatening looking. It looks like it belongs on a postcard. Unfortunately, right. it has in reality claimed many lives. Really? It reportedly has a 100% fatality rate for those who are unlucky enough to fall in. The Strid features a brutal combination of fast, invisible currents Ooh. and underwater rocks for those currents to throw you at. Oh. Professor Carolyn Roberts, professor of environment at Gresham College, London, has stated that it kills because of its geomorphology, the form of the what? channel, which is influenced by the Geomor nature of what? rocks over which it tumbles, and that vortices in the flow will trap bodies under the water close to the bed or the sides, whilst the turbulence will render someone unconscious very quickly. It's not a good place to play. Worst of all, because it looks so unthreatening, you can imagine someone carelessly attempting to jump the river and slipping into the water. Oh my Such gosh. a mistake is fatal Damn. and easily made, given the slippery moss abundant around the river's bordering rocks. Damn. So now you've been warned. Would you hey man, that's why I cap it off, man. Take a dip in, in that's usually man. Come on up a little bit. Next one on the road. Two, three, man.